so talk to me about uh, Tyler Locke. Like we said, it's a completely different kind of show than American Crime, but um, uh, not a tragic character, but a moody character, per se. Yes. I, yeah, I, for some reason... It's strange, because you're all smiles. Yeah, here. <laughs> here. I, I don't know. For some reason, I find myself drawn to these characters w- who deal with... Um, I guess the nice way to say it is they, they deal with whatever it is they're feeling internally. And I think there's something masculine about that, but also something teenage about that, where you, you feel so much and you don't have the language or the tools to express how you're feeling or to deal with how you're feeling. And a lot of the characters that I've played, including Tyler, struggle with that, with feeling so much. In Tyler's case, it's the trauma of of losing his dad. Uh, it's Who he had a fairly um, fraught relationship with prior to losing him, correct? Yeah, he, they had like a kind of a typical right. son, father, teenage relationship. They, nothing worked. Uh, and the tragedy of it, of course, is that they probably would have gotten through that, but now that relationship is frozen forever in this point, at this place of like dysfunction. So he really struggles with that and with feelings of guilt, and, but he doesn't know how to to handle this. He's, he suddenly feels like he has to step in to the vacuum that his father left and be like a dad to his siblings. And he feels like he has to take care of his mom, who is also not doing well. He, he, he puts all this responsibility on himself, but doesn't have the tools to deal with it. And that he does, he's a different character than other characters I've played, but there's a similarity there, I think. And I think it's, again, it's a very teenage thing, but also a very boy thing of like not knowing how to process feeling that's a an extremely articulate uh take on the character are you able to explore all of that depth in something that is has to kind of focus on plot beats and on fantasy and on uh yeah and on on fantasy i mean i grew up this is exactly the kind of show that when i was 11 and i was starting acting that i dreamed of doing because all i did was read narnia and harry potter and all i wanted was to like get my letter to hogwarts and go through the magic door and find the the lantern in the fort, you know, that's, that's, that was the goal. So if you had told me in 15 years, you're going to be like putting a magic key into the back of someone's neck, I would have been like, this, this is the dream. And, but what I lo- the, the best fantasy books, the best genre books and movies, they, what they share is that they use that device or the plot or whatever their, their mechanism is. They use it to smuggle in ideas about what it means to grow up, what it means to deal with trauma, what it means to deal with love, what it, you know, that's really what sticks with me about those stories. And I, so to get to your question, with this, I felt like, yeah, it's, there's a lot of plot, there's a lot of, I guess, like light and color around the edges, but none of that really works if you don't believe that these people, that it means something to this, these people. And for us as actors, I mean, if it's one thing to be told that, okay, this green tennis ball is a shadow monster. But if, you, if the writing's good and you know why you care <laughs> it, and what it means to you and why you want to protect your sister and why you want to protect your brother, it, it makes your job so much easier. And it really just becomes like anything else. And hopefully as, a, as an audience member, it makes you care about the people. You stop thinking that it's just a tennis ball. You don't have to focus on that. You can focus on all you the other layers. Transcend the tennis ball. Yeah, you can focus on all the other layers of the scene that you've been building over the course of the, the episode or the whole show. Yeah, and I mean, you know, plot, it's like, I always feel this way, which is when I watch something, I can, it's, I'm always hard pressed to tell you what the plot of it was, even like 10 minutes after, like, plot is just a device, it's like the capsule of a pill, you know, it's like you need, it has to be there so that you have something to put other things on top of, but it's not really the most important thing. Yeah, Yeah, and it's people and ideas, and and I I feel like uh, our show has that, and the comics that the show is based on is so rich with that. Did you read the graphic novels prior to, to the shoot? Were you looking at them while shooting? I, so I read, I, I hadn't read them before the project came into my life, but I, in like a weekend, I binge read them before we started. And then I didn't read them after. Because our show is very, I think, very loyal to the spirit and the themes and a lot of the plot of the comics, but it's also a departure. It's, it's, we like to think of it as like a, like a remix. Like it, it, it takes familiar elements and rearranges them. So I knew that going in, I knew that we weren't being 100% beholden to every detail of the comics. So I wanted to read them for the spirit and then have permission or give myself permission to, to go in a new direction. Did that ever affect you when you were on set when you watched something being remixed or you read in a script that it was remixed? Did you feel ever like, oh, but I really liked how it was done in the, in the, in the novel. Can we talk about it? 
or I mean, I, nothing that I can remember. I think there, there, it's a different medium, and also we. One of the things that made that I think took weight off of all of our shoulders was that Joe Hill, who was the creator of the comics, was really actively involved in our show and was so uh, genuinely, sincerely supportive and excited, and like not just in like a undoing press. I have to say it way, like really, like he was like the number one fan of the show, and he more than anyone was pushing us and pushing our writers to do our own thing with it, and he wanted. His whole thing was that he wanted people who felt like they knew the comics, who knew what they were, who felt like they knew what to expect. He wanted those people to be the most surprised by the show. So that permission meant a lot.